Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to discuss about Cognizant CSD or Skill uh, Continuous Skill Development Program and Internship Program. So for Internship Program, I have already made a video in detail, like how will be the you know uh, how will be the level of questions, what be, what will be the languages in Internship Program. That you can watch that. I will provide the link in the description box. I have uh, you know I have covered that in very detail. So here I'm going to cover some of your queries. Like, you will, will you get any mentor while doing internship, or will there be any exit test, or what will be the enhanced salary for in internship? Now, let's discuss about that. Will you get any mentor? Yes, guys, you will definitely get one mentor. Then that mentor will guide you throughout. And if you have any queries, if you stuck somewhere, you can reach out to your mentor. They will help you out. So don't expect the mentor will be keep on teaching you like a like a school teacher. So here the learning will be starting from by yourself. So you have to put your efforts in learning the modules. You'll be getting some modules like a Udemy modules you got, and you have to keep on learning by yourself. So up and um, after every completion of every module or after some like a one or two week, you will definitely you will be getting one test. Which you can consider it as a class test, and in that test you will get some MCQ questions, you will get some programs, you will get some uh, SQL questions. So basically, what you have learned through the mod throughout the modules on on basis of that topic, you will get uh, you will get questions or you will get test uh, test questions. Uh, you know, so it will be easier for you to cover all the topics. Now it will be the class test. Just take an example, like a, it is a class test. Now there, after class test, there will be a final test, which most of the students are calling exit test or uh, whatever. So basically, guys, don't get scared of the word exit here because uh, it's just take it as a final test. If you are performing throughout the internship well, then uh, you will definitely perform well in the exit test. Because the level questions of uh, the level of question and the question pattern will be same as what you have got in your uh, other tests. Like after completion of module, what test you have attempted, the least the same level of question you are going to get in the exit test, or I can say it will be a final test. So uh, don't get scared of the word as exit. That if even if you are not performing well, well then you will get fire of the fire from the company it will not be happening because till last year i haven't heard that anybody got disqualified or did not receive the dog uh, that because they did not perform well in uh, exit test i have not heard anything like that so but i won't say don't take the test seriously but i would rather say uh, take your class test Seriously, because if you are performing well there, you will definitely going to perform well in exit test also. Means I would say it's a, it is a final test. So uh, suppose one test you are appearing and you are finding it difficult, do practice those question, take screenshot or take note of the question, and you know after completion of the test, whether you are, are not able to attempt those question in the in the test, then after completion of test, try to get the answer, get the solution for those questions. So that's how you can uh, improve yourself in any skills, or you know, throughout the internship, you can learn well. So learn from your mistake what you did in uh, you know in each test. So that will really help you out in the final test. And uh, this is all about exit test. So I would say like don't worry about the exit test. You will get your level in the te uh, class test or, or only. And even if you are not performing well, they are not going to fire you out. So it just uh, don't think about that. Now, what will be the enhanced salary? The third question is, what is will be the enhanced salary? So the enhanced salary will be 12k. After cutting all the stuff from the salary in hand, you will get 12k. Till 2020, they got 12k in hand. So this is all about internship program. In the continuous skill development program, it is opposite to other internship. There you will not get any mentor. There will be no salary, and the learning will be completely based on you. You will be getting modules. You have to cover that by yourself, and it's just like that. Simply, you have been assigned with some uh, some 
some tasks like cover this module, learn this technology, and just you need to keep on learning that. So it is good for those who have other options, like who are looking for other options, who are preparing for something. Because internship in internship, you have to give your dedication or some hours, definite hours in the internship. But in the continuous skill development, you can do it any time, and uh, there will be no restrictions. Uh, so. it is for those who who are opting for other now there is a benefits of the internship and there is a benefit there are some benefit in the continuous skill development in continuous skill development like you can do it any time or it it will be uh, some bandwidth will be there you have to complete it now internship guys if those who are appearing for internship just do remember there is there is a benefit for you like after completion of your internship if you are getting dog date of joining letter then after going to uh, office you don't have to undergo you know training you don't have to go under uh, you know training and all that stuff but the continuous skill development program those who have opted it uh, then that people may go under 3 months training so for them it is not benefit for for internship people they will be directly hired into some of the projects so this is yeah there are some benefits of each one so whether you choose internship or if you have plan to join cognizant on leave then i would highly recommend you to join the internship program because it will save your time and if you haven't watched my video on internship cognizant internship program please go ahead and watch that i have covered this topic in very detail this uh, this basically this video was to cover your queries so these were your queries and i have hope i have cleared uh, your doubt if you have still if you have any question you can put your question in the comment section now uh, will choosing csd over internship will impact my dog guys the answer is no it will not impact your date of joining the date of joining is completely based on business requirement so whatever you uh, whatever your choice is whether csd or internship it's your personal choice depends on your time or bandwidth you can choose any of these two um, but it will not impact your date of joining so you will get your dog on time or whenever there is a business requirement so hope i have made you clear if you have still if you have any queries you could post your post your question in the comment section and if you find this video informative please press thumbs up thank you for watching guys thank you